Hi, and as the title suggests, this time I'm talking about our Blizzard taking the piss. And what am I talking about? Well, it's the way they're rolling out the Broken Shore as we lead up to Tomb of Sargeras. And specifically, what I'm this, this is the kernel of what's sort of growing this. So each week since 7.2 came out, since we've had access to the content on the Broken Shore, we get some new content each week. Now, Blizzard made a big deal about this. Again, this is, this is I think a lot of things about Legion, I've talked about this before, are an extreme reaction to the extreme lack of content we had in Warlords Adrenal. Blizzard was stung by this individual senior developers, I'm sure, as well. And they said, look, we can do better than this. We want to do better. They felt, and I, I would agree with them, that oh, they've not said this publicly, but I, I would certainly agree with them, sorry, that a lot of the reasons for Ward were not theirs. It was like the money men, so to speak, who were saying, look, we want expansions out every year, and that just became impossible. And that has stopped now. That sort of policy has stopped uh, and they said, right, let's show them what we can really do. We're going to have content constantly coming out. Sometimes a, bit, a little bit too quickly. But here is the thing. So what they've announced with the Broken Shore is that the major patch comes out at a certain time. So that came out a few weeks ago. The actual raid, because it used to be that when a major patch came out, that's when the raid that comes with it came out as well at the same time. They want to divorce those two events for very good reasons. Uh, so the, the actual raid will be coming out much later. But that is the premier content. That's what people are really looking forward to. And so what they've said is that they bring out this content and then there's going to be like a storyline that leads to being able to access that raid. So it all sort of makes sense. It's a role-playing game. And there's going to be new content each week. And that's what they keep trying to push to us. There's always new content, new content, new content, new content. As soon as a patch goes live, the, the PTR for the next patch goes up on the PTR as well. Uh, so there's always new stuff there. They're making it really, really clear there is no content drought. The content drought is extinct. That is what they are. That is their mantra almost. So what was our new content this week? Kadga has a quest for us. Good old Kadga. Oh, what do you want, Kadga? 2,500 nether shards. Hmm. Right, okay. But it gets better. I'm sure those people who've done it already know this. So, you, I mean, in my case, I didn't have loads of nether shards hanging around. I haven't really done that much farming of it. On the Broken Shore, basically, I've done the world quests uh, all but, I think, one day. Um, I haven't really farmed nether shards or anything like that. I haven't really had time. Uh, I'm doing a lot of recruitment at the moment, as well as having a job, as well as, you know, doing this <laughs> content for this, as well as trying to beat this new computer into shape. Um, and it's still winning, I think then I haven't had a lot of time farming that. So I had to go out and I had to, okay, let's go and farm some nether shards, get the 2500, which I got, turned into him. And I already knew this because someone in gold, uh, guild sorry, had told me this was going to happen. So you turn them in, Kadka goes, oh, isn't it hilarious? Oh, I actually didn't need 2500. I actually only needed one. Here, have 24, $24.99 back. So basically, it's a bit like, Quest, get me 2,500 nether shards. What's your reward? 2,499 nether shards. Inspired. The best thing about it was you get a lot of rep from it, uh, a good 1,500 rep, uh, which actually got me my flying. And that is the best thing I can say about it. And that's the week's content. Now, here's the thing. If you look at all the, you know, each week there is a, a thing to go along with. And if you were to just collect that all together, if it wasn't time-gated, it wasn't coming out each week, it was just, this is the new content, and then the raid will come out in a couple, two or three months, I'd sort of be okay with it. I wouldn't be making a fuss. It's the fact, it's the hype aspect to it. It's the fact that it's been builders. You are getting new content each week. Each week, there is something to do that there wasn't to do the following, the, the previous week, sorry. This is bullshit. Hand, I mean, some people would have already had the 2,500 nether shards. So it's like, Kadga has a quest. Oh, take the quest. Oh, I've already got it. Here you go. Done. That's the content. 10 seconds. That's if you read the quest text as well. If you don't even do that, not even that. I mean, that's appalling. And as I say, as I say, it's not the... It's not the fact that you've got this... I mean, I can 
I can sympathize actually being a teacher because I have to design content myself. I have to do my lessons. And sometimes you do a very complex lesson with a lot of, you know, really innovative stuff and you have to build it up from scratch. And that takes you a lot of time. And the only way to be able to do that, you can't do that all the time, is there's got to be other times when you just basically do something that was prepared years ago or not even that, that, that took very little preparation time. It's the only way to do it. It's the same in the game. There are some parts of the content that take a lot of resources, a lot of time to develop. There are, so there have got to be some parts where they just, you know, pull it out their ass on the lunch break or something and do it really quickly. Sure. But it is this fact that they've said each week new content. And, and I particularly have been quite disenchanted because so far the best new content that we've had, we know there's more coming. We know that there's uh, the class mounts coming. But that's what it is. From my point of view, I'm going to be bitterly disappointed with all of them because so far we had the Armies of Legion fall thing. Um, I mean, that was doubly annoying because, first of all, people were expecting, people who'd done the PTR were expecting that to be available as soon as patch 10.2 went live, and it wasn't. So here was us saving our order resources so that we could get our uh, order re hall research completed. I'm going to come to that in a moment as well, straight away. And actually, it's like, no, because you need this achievement for it. And this achievement isn't available as soon as the patch comes out. You've got to wait. You know, so we had so we had this, this system of, of, of the stuff being time-gated. And then when it did arrive, this Champions of Legion fall, which got you an extra follower, allowed you to use an extra champion in your order hall. Um, for the Paladin, as I did a video on it. The, 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 it was appalling. Absolutely dreadful. Now, some people have said for their classes, it was actually quite good. But you know, just from my point of view, I'm thinking, no effort was put into that at all. No effort at all. It was absolutely god-awful. And now we have a thing where, again, no effort's put into it. And I'm thinking to myself... Is there any? Is there going to be even a single week's worth of new content where any effort has been put into it at all? Because the demon invasions, I mean, that technically came with the second week. That wasn't like, I mean, they'd sort of effectively done that in the pre-Legion stuff. It's, it's not much extra compared to that. It's a little bit, but it's not much different. Um, and it didn't need to be because people were perfectly happy with that. But what I mean is in terms of what new development has come in for this proud boast of new content each week not a lot even the class mount quest i'm not gonna be that happy with because mine's just a horse there's nothing cunning about it at all it's just a horse for the paladin some class mounts look great i mean the shamans will be delighted even if their quest line is shit um they'll be delighted with the mount because the mount looks awesome and some class quests look awesome uh, and some don't but um it's I mean, the druid one, don't even talk, oh my god, it looks, it's an owl. Um, that's that, You know, even given that owls have fairly flat faces, this one looks like it's running to a wall and hard. But, it's the fact that you're thinking about it. Uh, and we know why, we know that they've got to time gate it. They've been told that they want, because we're into this cycle of, there's a lot of people who subscribe for a few, do the content in a couple of weeks and then unsubscribe. And, and they don't want people subscribed for like one month out of every three. Um, they want more of that. People staying subscribed. So Blizzard have been very much told to make sure that there is always new content. Um, and it's the sort of stuff that people won't want to save up. So coming back to that order hall research that I said I was going to mention again. Even that is evidence for it. Because look at the last one. The last order hall research that, that I've just completed, I think... A lot of people will now have completed if they started the armies, uh, the Champions of Legion Fall when they could and had the order resources to do it. It means that when you do world quests or missions that reward artifact power, when you get the artifact power token, when you use it, you have a chance of it giving you double the amount of artifact power than it says. So if the artifact power token is worth 1 million, you might get 2 million from it. And the fact that the AP grind hasn't gone away, it might be, it might have less teeth than it did before 7.2. Because before 7.2, it was very achievable to complete the whole artifact. Now it's not, and that takes the edge off it a little bit. But, and the fact that we've got our artifact knowledge going up again, you know, while the artifact knowledge is still going up, it will not feel that bad. Uh, as soon as it stops, all of a sudden, then it will bite hard. But also, because it's completely unattainable to complete it, a lot of people will feel that they're okay 
not even trying to complete it. So the other side of it is the fact that you look at it now and you think, okay, isn't that great? So we're getting more artifact power. It sounds fantastic. I mean, we're in artifact power ground. This is a way of getting free artifact power. But it's also a way of encouraging you to look on your map every day, twice a day, and look at the the quests that give artifact power and do them. Especially now that we have flying and it's now a lot quicker. So we can go around, we can fly to those little areas. There's not, not even a hassle of going over, trying to navigate around High Mountain or grapple your way through Stormheim. You just fly from bit to bit, no inaccessible places anymore, and, and just do the ones that give artifact power. Same with the missions, and with missions, of course. So it's all, again, it's about encouraging us to basically be online every day. And like, it, it sounded, to begin with, when Legion, you know, a year ago, when we were still plodding through the alpha of uh, Legion, you know, that they weren't trying to get us through that because the emissary caches, which came up every day, well, you could queue them up for a few days. You only had to come on every few days. But with this, with if you're chasing artifact power, if you really want to maximise it, and of course most people won't want to maximise it, and fair enough, but if you do, then you will be on every day. As I say, as soon as you'll keep browsing, as soon as you see missions or on your in your order hall or quests on the, on the broken aisles that give artifact power, you'll be doing them because now that you've got that research completed, and it's and that research was all about getting us to do more content, which means being on more, which means maintaining our subscription. So there isn't really a point to this, other than the fact that I'm disappointed with the. The fact that they're billing it as new content each week, but we are very clearly not... I mean, that, that's not content. Handing over 2,500 nether shards and getting 2,499 back is not new content. Yes, the reputation was appreciated. I'm not complaining about the reward. What I'm complaining about the fact is that's not content. And, and they should not bill it as new content each week. They should, have, they should have just done it every few weeks. It should be every three weeks. Because every three weeks, sure, if, if the aim is to get people to subscribe... Surely every three weeks does that, because the subscription's a month anyway. You don't get weekly subscriptions. Uh, it's monthly. So surely if they just saved up three-week blocks, that would work too, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be a better idea? But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Those are just my thoughts. You put, you've got your own thoughts. You put those in the comments below, as always. Hope you found it interesting, as always. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for further content. And until next time, I'll see you later.